So over here you can see that I have a picture of a butterfly and let's say what I want to do is I want to mask this out. So to do that, I'm going to go around and zoom this in and do a selection to this. So let me just go around, use a quick selection tool and then select out the layer. So I'm in expert mode right now and I'm just going to go around and make a selection right here. So I'm just going to go around, click and drag this out right here, click and drag this out and make a selection to this as you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract it because I selected a bit more portion right here. Let me just go around, change the size of the brush right here, click and drag this around right here just like this and there you go. You can see that I am making a selection over here. So just like this, I'm just going to go around and make a selection right here just like this. I'm going to go around and make that selection, make this selection right here and I'm going to go around over here again onto the plus and make a selection over here as well. So let me just go around and turn this into a mask. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here onto a uh, let's say for example mask right here, click on it and mask is applied onto it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to further refine this in the mask itself. So let me just go around zoom in right here and I'm going to take around the press tool right here and choose around the size as you can see just like this, click and drag around over here. So just like this, I can go around over here, click and dra drag this around over here, click and drag this, drag this, drag this and this is what you have. So just like this, drag this over here as well. So I'm going to further refine out uh, my mask right here. Let me just go around and decrease this size out right here. And I'm going to go around, click and drag this out. And this is what you have. I'm going to further refine this out over here as well. So I'm going to make a clean selection over here just like this by drawing around freely over here on this side. And I'm just going to go around and scroll down, click and drag this around over here, click and drag this. And there you go, you can see that it is much more of a clean selection. I'm going to go around on this part as well. So let me just decrease the size of, of the brush right here. Click and drag this around over here just like this. And this is what you have right here. But I made a bit more uh, erase, erasing right here. So I'm just going to go around and further refine it. So I'm going to go around, change the color, and then I'm going to get back the things that I erased. I'm just going to go around and erase this back up again right here. And then I'm going to go around and get this back right here. So you can see that I have a mask of this butterfly right here, just like this. And I'm just going to go around and erase this part over here as well. So you can see that the butterfly has been selected and it has been masked out. But you can see that it is still in the whole picture. This is, the whole picture is still there. So if I want to turn this into a regular uh, layer without uh, any extra information so that the processing is easy and is easy for computer memory as well, then I can simply right click on this and then I, I can right, right click on the mask actually and then I can go around and then apply the layer mask. Once I do that, what happens is that it gets converted into a regular layer. So there is no extra information right here and you can work around with this as a regular layer. Keep it wh wherever you want. So I'm just going to go around right here. Uh, let me resize it and then I can go around, hold alt on my keyboard and make some duplicates right here. And you can see that this is what you have. And that is how you can work around and apply layer mask uh, that you have inside of your layers inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.